Hey there, and welcome to UNCG SOAR for freshmen. Um, I'm Jennifer Clark. I am one of many advisors representing the School of Health and Human Sciences uh, Dean's Office, also representing our Health and Human Sciences Advising Center. With me today, I have my friend and colleague, Mr. Bill Johnson, and I'll let him introduce himself. Hi, I'm Bill Johnson. I also am one of the advisors in the School of Health and Human Sciences, and I also run the Life Design Catalyst Program, which incorporates our HHS 125 class. So welcome. Cool. So you're seeing our homes, and um, Bill's is a lot more organized than mine, uh, but all is well. Uh, and we appreciate your time today. Hope you have a great sort of experience, and we look forward to chatting more. Um, as we uh, look ahead to the fall semester. In the next few moments, um, maybe 20 to 30 minutes at max, um, I'm all, we're gonna go over some PowerPoint slides. Um, we'll watch a quick video clip and then we'll come back together just for some closing remarks. So bear with us um, and we'll go from here. So I'm gonna begin by sharing a fun PowerPoint. Yay, PowerPoint. One moment. And we'll start at the beginning of the PowerPoint. Huh. Um, so as a part of the School of Health and Human Sciences, please know that you are a part of a larger family. Uh, we have lots of departments that you represent with your many majors of interest. So let's get started and talk about um, what those departments are. So first we have the Department of Communication Sciences and Disorders, which offers one major that being speech pathology and audiology. Second department, community and therapeutic recreation, has two majors, community recreation and event planning, and then therapeutic recreation, which is a very popular major for those who have interest in occupational therapy. The third department, human development and family studies, offers three majors to students to choose from. That's birth through kindergarten with teacher licensure, early care and education, and child youth and family development. The fourth department, kinesiology, has two majors. Kinesiology is the first major, same name as the department, and that is popular for students that are also looking to explore physical therapy. Their second major is physical education and health teacher education. The next department, nutrition, offers three majors at UNCG for students to consider, human nutrition and dietetics, nutrition and wellness, and nutrition science. Next, the Department of Peace and Conflict Studies, which is its own major, Peace and Conflict Studies. Uh, then we have the Department of Public Health Education, where there are two majors, Community Health Education and Health Studies. And then we have the Department of Social Work with its major of Social Work. So hopefully you found yourself in one of those departments or maybe wanting to explore um, those varied areas of interest. I put number nine up here, and I really just wanted to kind of touch base on it briefly. If you see yourself falling in the major of pre-health studies and sciences, because as a school of health and human sciences, we coordinate the advising for many students that fall in this major code. However, pre-health studies and sciences as a major is just a temporary place to sit in. It's not one that students can graduate with a degree in, so in some ways it's like being undecided but it does infer that students might have an interest in a health-related career and they haven't yet identified the bachelor's degree or major that they want to uh, commit to or to pursue. Now, there may be other reasons why students uh, declare this particular major code or are within this major code, and I've listed some of those reasons there. So A, for example, uh, students might be interested in pursuing nursing, and nursing at UNCG is a major like many where students have to apply to be formally admitted, but students cannot be officially listed as a nursing major until they've been formally accepted into that program. So many students, until they're accepted, fall within the pre-health studies and sciences temporary major code. B, um, there may be students, as I mentioned earlier, that are interested in a health-related career, um, and they just haven't yet decided what major they want to declare or change to, so again, they're sitting in that pre-health studies and sciences major code. And then last, many students um, think that pre-health studies and sciences uh, is a great reflection for those that may have interest in pre-professional programs like medical school, vet school, dental school, pharmacy, uh, physician assistant programs, even uh, physical therapy or occupational therapy 
but really you can major in anything. You can get your bachelor's degree in anything and still pursue the course prerequisites for those programs. So if you wanna be an art major, a social work major, take the med school course prerequisites and then apply to medical school, you can do that. So there's lots of, lots of options there, but some students are, are sitting in that major code um, who may have not yet decided what major they wanna pursue while they're taking the course prerequisites for those varied programs of interest. So again, we just wanted to make sure that you understood what that major code meant. So we really just kind of wanna briefly chat about some of our departments um, and then some of the logistics and the support um, around advising and registration. Um, so here in the School of Health and Human Sciences, most of our departments do require that students attain a higher GPA beyond a 2.0 minimum cumulative that defines you as a student in good standing. And you can see the department abbreviations are listed there, CSD, HDF, nutrition, Ken, Peace and Conflict Studies, Public Health, Education, and Social Work are all departments that either require that students have to complete a secondary admissions application uh, and meet GPA minimum requirements or uh, some of them may require that you take select course prerequisites throughout your first two years in college, so maybe your freshman and sophomore year, earn maybe a minimum C grade in those uh, as part of being eligible to apply. Um, and then others might just require that you attain a minimum GPA and complete certain courses before you can continue in three or 400 level courses within your major. While most of our programs require some type of secondary admission process or higher GPA, et cetera, and for those programs, you're, you're taking courses in your first two years that meet both general education requirements and also complement some of those course prerequisites for many of those programs. We do have the Department of CTR, Community and Therapeutic Recreation, which does not require that you take that extra step um, at any point throughout your undergraduate career to be formally admitted in the CTR department. So you'll learn more information as you move through the upcoming fall semester in uh, late October, early November is actually when you'll begin registering for courses for the spring semester. And during, um, the during the second half of the fall semester, you'll have an opportunity to speak with advisors in your respective departments or in the advising center. Um, and you will learn more about the admission criteria and the overall curriculum requirements for your majors of interest. So just know that right now you're in a great time to explore um, and we encourage that you do that, really embrace the courses that um, you move through throughout your undergraduate career. So here's where really we just want you to utilize the resources, explore your time at UNCG, um, maximize your success. And part of that means uh, we want you to reach out to your advisor if or when questions arise or just get to know them and let them get to know you. Seek support from our HHS Health and Human Sciences Advising Center. Email them or us, if you will, at askhhs at uncg.edu. Anytime questions come up, um, we're here for you throughout the summer and throughout your time at UNCG. Engage with your professors. Don't wait until midterms or right before the exam to ask questions. Really, again, like your advisor, let them get to know you, you get to know them, and embrace the opportunity to make those connections. There's lots that you pay for throughout your tuition, um, throughout your time at UNCG, so we really want you to take advantage of those services, the Writing Center, Speaking Center, Recreation Facilities, Career Services Center, tutoring is free, you have to apply for it, please use those resources. Um, if you wanna study abroad, we would encourage that you begin those conversations with the International Program Service Office early. Um, you know, again, lots of resources there. Student Health Services Center, Counseling Center, you'll learn more about these um, and we just encourage that you embrace those and utilize those that you pay for them. Um, some dates to be mindful of. Of course, the fall semester is slated to begin on Tuesday, August 18th. So that is the first day of classes for the fall of 2020. However, that's also the final payment deadline. So bills will actually be emailed out to students in early July, uh, once all of the June source sessions have come to a close. And so you can be looking for that bill via email. And even though that's gonna reiterate an initial payment deadline that will fall somewhere in late July or early August, 
know that the final payment deadline is that first day of classes, so Tuesday, August 18th. Now, you have until Monday, August 24th, so you see that next date there, as the last day to really finalize your schedule. So you can freely add and drop from now up through the fifth day of classes, which is Monday, August 24th, to customize your schedule and have it look the way that meets your needs at that time. Should you choose to withdraw from a course after Monday, August 24th, so let's say that you pick up statistics and you want to drop that course from your schedule on Tuesday, August 25th, from Tuesday, August 25th up through that next date, Friday, October 9th, those withdrawals then count as formal withdrawals and as an undergraduate student at UNCG, you cannot withdraw from any more than 16 credit hours throughout your time at UNCG. So if you're considering making reductions to your schedule in the fall semester, once that fifth day of classes has passed, just be mindful that there is a maximum limit of no more than 16 credits that you can withdraw from. So that last date, Friday, October 9th, is the last day to drop a course without incurring what we call a WF grade, which factors in as an F into your GPA. So we want you to monitor the progress that you have in the first half of the semester and continue those communications with your professors if or where questions arise. Reiterating kind of the opportunity to, um, sorry. I had muted my phone. Um, anyway, we want you to invest in yourself Engage with your advising resources. Research, research, research those career areas of in interest that you have and maybe even those that relate as so many industries work together. It's important that you reflect on yourself and reflect on why you're at UNCG and what you want to get uh, from your undergraduate experience and your first semester uh, looking ahead to the fall. We want you to think about ways that you can create positive and impactful connections with those around you, both in the UNCG community setting and beyond. Um, guys, today is my birthday. Everybody wants to call, but I failed to send a message out saying, please don't call this morning as we're recording a video. So sorry about that. Um, long story short though, we really want your time at UNCG to be beneficial to you. And that means we want you to find your purposeful work, look for ways to really fulfill yourself, to explore yourself um, and the areas that you have an interest in so you can get the biggest bang for your buck throughout your time at UNCG. So know that now is the time for you to shine and going forward, um, now is the time for you to really show yourself what you're capable of to us, to all those around you as you begin your journey in your educational career, okay? This is up to you, and we're excited and um, happy to be here to support you throughout your time. So I'm going to um, shut my mouth, and we'll um, and we'll go from there. So my name's Bill Johnson again, and I oversee the Life Design Catalyst program. And that program encompasses two different courses. Um, one course is HHS 125, which is called What Could I Do With My Life, and then HHS 135, which is called Redesign a Life You Love. The 125 is offered in the fall, the 135 is offered in the spring. And what we do is try to have an experience of, yes, college success is important, but life success is also important. Um, so in the 125 class that you'll take in the fall, which most of you will have on your schedule, it'll meet once, in, once a week for an hour. And what you'll do is actually work on, am I doing the thing that I really want to do with my life? So you'll learn your strengths, your values, your personality type. You'll create a statement that says, here's how I wanna serve the world. You'll create a plan or an academic plan around how you wanna serve the world. You'll also create a statement that says, here's the problem I wanna solve so that that can help enhance things that happen in the world and then create an, a, a career plan around that. Um, so this course is really focused on you creating a plan that really helps you define what you want to do with your life. Um, so all most of you will have that on your schedule. Again, it's an elective, so you're not required to take it. Um, but what we found is most students who take the class are more likely to stay in school, graduate from college in a timely manner, and actually have a plan for what they want to do while in college and after college. 
Um, one of the things we're also, we want to do is show a video on why this work is important. Um, so the video we have down called Know Your Why, Knowing Your Why, is what the essence of this program is all about. So if Jennifer can pull up that video, that'd be awesome. Yeah, hang on just a minute. I'm going to stop this because I believe I need to share that video. So okay. give me one moment. I apologize for that. So I'm going to share that video and since you. I'm learning. Um, so we appreciate your everybody's patience as we work through technology as I work through technology. Okay. So here's that go. video.
Hang on just a minute and I'll stop this video, <laughs> sorry. You gotta love technology. Okay, and we'll pick back up on that slide of the PowerPoint in just a few moments. I appreciate everybody's patience. Okay. All right, sorry about that. Video, uh, Bill, any thoughts on that? Um, it explains exactly what we want to do. Um, so as opposed to most programs that want you to pick a major and then you ask us what to do, what we want to do is help help you figure out, here's what I have to offer, what major fits best. And that's how we distinguish ourselves from any other program that you'll explore in this country for that, for that matter. So thank you for the video. I love the video and I, I muted myself in the video. My um, second of three um, children, uh, my son came up and I was like, oh Lord, I wonder if he's gonna start talking. But uh, I love the video and I love how it makes me feel um, every time I see it and how it's just a great reminder for me to just to continue to reflect on what impact I wanna have and if I just think about the actions that I take or the things that I speak before, how much more impactful, uh, hopefully positively, that I can really have and relate to those that, that are around me and those that I see. Um, so, uh, really just wanna kind of reiterate that uh, for you as incoming students, brand new freshmen, Advisor assignments will not likely be finalized until probably the end of the first or second week of classes for the fall semester. So again, if questions arise throughout the summer or throughout your time at UNCG, you can email uh, uh, us. Many of our staff work through the Health and Human Sciences Advising Center. Email us at askhhs at uncg.edu should questions arise. And know again that you'll be getting um, an email from the advising center, uh, not to, we'll say a week, maybe two weeks after you wrap up your SOAR session um, so that we can uh, just make sure that you're feeling comfortable or remind you um, that you can make modifications to your schedule. Bill mentioned the HHS 125 course will be on your schedule and it will. So just to let you know, you're actually going to be pre-registered in a full-time schedule. Full-time at UNCG is defined as 12 credit hours. Yes, you can take up to 18 credit hours. Most students carry a load between 14 to 16 credits. So you're, um, you have access to an advising and registration module within your SOAR Canvas course. And so we really encourage that you take the time to read through all those resources so that you can not only inform yourself of how you can make adjustments to your schedule, how you can pull up your degree evaluation, how you can add and drop courses and look up the many courses that we have at UNCG, but so that as you reach out for advising support, that we can make better connections with you and maybe even go deeper in our conversations about what you wanna do and what excites you and what courses you really are looking forward to exploring um, as you begin your journey ahead. So um, part of adjusting your schedule and even part of registering even going forward means that you'll need a six digit advising code. Um, every student has an individual advising code that will be sent to you via email uh, shortly after your SOAR session. So give us roughly a week or two weeks following your SOAR session to send you that information. And then once you have that, you can proceed to make adjustments to your schedule as you see fit, okay? Now, um, make sure that you know um, that we have a school website and we have an advising website um, that is there and was created for you with you in mind. So I wanna pull up that website and the link you see is there. But let me pull it up so I'm gonna stop sharing the PowerPoint slide. And I'm going to share our department website here. So the 
um, in this case, the school website, sorry, is hhs.uncg.edu. And you can see that there. And if you didn't know where to access department websites, you could roll down to the department screen and you would see all of the websites that are listed there. If you wanted to read about scholarships, you can click on undergraduate and go down to the scholarships area and you can take time and really inform yourself and research all that our school has to offer for you. But for now, I want you to know that should you be looking for additional advising resources and support on our school website, hhs.uncg.edu, you can scroll down and you'll see there's a quick link there for advising. So I'm going to click on this A for advising. And this is going to take you to our, our Health and Human Sciences Advising and Personal Development Center website. And on this website, you'll see there's lots of links. Um, but uh, you can see, for example, um, those that work in our center. Um, you can scroll down and check out the pictures. You can read all about the information that we have. Lots of good stuff there. Um, but if you'd like to check out the advising link, here's where you'll find, again, additional information. It's just going to help you better understand some of the basics around advising, how to use your degree works, degree evaluation, how to look up courses online, how to register. So know that all of that is also there. Additionally, you're in majors that um, really kind of <clears throat> um, layer courses year after year. So really there's, there's great opportunities and courses that might need to be taken in the first year or the second year, third or fourth or fifth or sixth if you wanna be at uncg.com. But if you click on this plans of study tab, here is where you can begin to access what your departments have already created and that means uh, that they have some uh, sample templates for courses that you can take uh, throughout your time as, for example, a kinesiology major. So I'm just going to click on this, kinesiology, plans of study. And here's where you can view the Bachelor of Science in kinesiology plan of study. If you want to read about the uh, public uh, physical education, health teacher education, you can dig a little bit deeper and go to that web, that link. Um, just kind of pick another one just as an example. You can check out the therapeutic recreation for your plan in the community and therapeutic recreation department. So I'm going to click on that. And you can scroll down in that website and see, oh, there's a TR therapeutic recreation for your plan. And for those who have interest in occupational therapy, you can even view that plan, which builds in those occupational therapy, which is what OT stands for, uh, prerequisites. So lots of information out there. I know you've already read and listened to a lot of information for SOAR purposes, so we don't want to bore you to death, and maybe you're on information overload, but you have all summer to really explore um, what you have access to, right? We're in the world of technology, and we just want to all embrace that and use that to our advantage. So take time throughout the summer to get to know the resources that are here. Um, and ask any questions at ask HHS if or where questions arise. So I'm just going to go back to that PowerPoint. We'll kind of wrap things up. I think there was maybe one more slide, maybe two. We're almost done. We appreciate you guys hanging on. Okay. Yep, that was it. Um, and, and again, kind of drives home what we want you to do. Be excited about UNCG. We're excited about you coming and joining our family, not only at UNCG, but within the School of Health and Human Sciences. Discipline yourself. Get up in the morning. Bill, what is it? You get up at five o'clock in the morning to exercise? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, at least however many times a day and, and uh, multiple days throughout the week. Um, engage in your community where you're at right now and bring that with you to UNCG. Bring your best foot forward. Um, bring an open mind because part of being in college means um, exploring more about what you want to get out of your educational experience and how you want to serve the world, as Bill mentioned, through the many majors and courses and career opportunities that will come ahead in your future. Okay, so know that we're here to support you. So in closing, um, welcome to UNCG. Welcome to HHS. We talk a lot about abbreviations. Use those resources 
take time to familiarize yourself with those resources uh, in your SOAR modules as it relates to advising registration. Check out our Advising and Development Center website for the School of Health and Human Sciences. Email us if questions come up at askhhs, A-S-K-H-H-S at uncg.edu. And Bill, do you have any thoughts or closing remarks? So I just want to say you're going to have a unique opportunity to dictate how you want to live your life. And HHS will be the ones that help you get there. Um, whether it's online or in person, doesn't matter. We will be the ones that help you create a plan that you can live for the rest of your life. And that's what makes us different. Because HHS is number one. <laughs> um, so welcome. Have a great rest of the summer. And we'll look forward to seeing you in the fall semester. Take care. Be on the lookout for our email from Ask HHS about a week or two after your SOAR session. Thank you. Take care.